Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. I don't know if you can notice guys, my throat is killing me. Um, I was actually off yesterday because I couldn't swallow, my glands were all swollen. Um, yeah, I, I think I had a bit of throat infection, I'm not quite sure, but it seems to be getting better. So yeah, but obviously, you know, things come up and they happen. And it just so happened that the car that I've been trying to get the insurance company to let me have, the Mercedes, they finally let me have it. And I'm picking it up this morning. So that is what I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you the new project, the Mercedes I've been trying to win for the last six weeks. It's been unbelievable, but I had to, in the end, uh, the bids went up a little bit more. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So um, I did pay a little bit more than what I have been um, bidding on uh, the last few weeks, but it's still a great little car and it was still definitely worth it. So finally, we've got that to work on. So let me bring it in the workshop when I go and get it. I'm going to go and collect it now. I'll come back. I'll bring it in. I'll show you what we've got, what the damage is, and um, yeah, what the actual car is. So <laughs> bear with me, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay. So guys, a change of plan when it comes to showing this new project. Um, this Mercedes... <laughs> I just about got it off the trailer um, and I can't even get it. I don't want to, sorry, I, can't, I can, but I don't want to take it any further into the workshop. Not just yet because that Peugeot 2308 um, is still on the ramp and I don't want to bring the, the new project in until that ramp is free uh, because... Well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, there's a reason for that. And um, I, I, I'm going to have to show you this outside. We're going to have to walk around it, look at the damage. I'll explain what is going on and why I can't do that, why I can't just bring it in. Um, and then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's get outside and I'll show you the new project. So, guys, this car, Mercedes A160, avant-garde se this is an se version so it is fully loaded it has got everything in it um back and front sensors cruise control uh, electric folding mirrors it, it's got everything in it um that 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 you should have uh, really but um yeah i've been trying to win this car for the last well i've been trying to let me have it for the last six weeks and they've always basically said no it's too it's, it's not enough money you, you want you want it it's not it's not it's too cheap you're not having it basically <laughs> so that's what's been happening with this one um and i have been mentioning this this car for the last few weeks now you can see straight away that we've got some damage on the rear um and a few scratches around the car as well but front end wise no damage whatsoever um this is a 1.5 petrol so it's ules compliant um five door obviously and yeah the main damage is is the rear that's where it is and you can see this is why i can't put the car inside the workshop any further because the wheel is touching the bottom here and it, it's it's scraping it away you can see that it's scraping it away here so the more the, <laughs> the this this has happened just taking it off the actual trailer so i'm going to change the tire don't get me wrong that is going to be changed but I want to be able to move it in the workshop to get it up in the air so we can have a look at this suspension underneath. Um, we're going to basically just change the whole lot underneath there. Um, it's being changed, completely being taken apart, and we're going to swap it all out. But I need, I need to be able to 
basically um you know move it into the workshop so we can do that and get it on the ramp very very strange this one that's why this has happened we've got obviously a little bit of damage on the quarter as well which could easily be pulled out a little bit of paintwork and then that's all sorted that bit there um but it's the rear uh suspension that we've got up that, that's that's where most of the damage is the strange part about this as well is actually happens on the other side so both sides of this car you know we have got a few scratches It's like someone's keyed it across there. Um, yeah, more or less the same sort of damage, like both sides of the wheels sort of kicking in. And then you've got a little bit of damage on the rear quarter. Very, very strange, this one. Very strange how that's happened. I don't know if it's reversed into something or reversed into a curb. And that's why both sides are kind of matching. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm really, really not sure about this one. But apart from obviously the rear, the rest of the car is it's, it's a really nice condition. It is. It's really nice. Got these front sensors um, and the rear sensors as well. But um, it's got this. Uh, I think they're they're window wipers or are they light. I can't remember. If yeah, I think they're actually they're they are um, headlight sensors, automatic headlight sensors. But um, yeah, Avant Garde. I've not done one of these before. A160. Um, but let me show you the other reason why I went for this one as well. Is because another automatic. Yep, another automatic. But it's got a lot of kit on this this car. It's all leather. Leather seats, or half and half. Um, electric folding mirrors, like I said. Auto headlights there. It's got cruise control as well on this one. <coughs> TV. Um, it's really, really nice car, actually. And I bet these are quite nice to drive as well. Little just nippy little cars to drive around in. <clears throat> Comes with two keys. I've got two keys to go with it. Starts up straight away. No issues or problems whatsoever. So look at the mileage. 71,520. So not really a lot of mileage for for, for the car um that's the, yeah that's that and then the seat belt but you know air conditioning is ice cold so that's good um we've got ice cold air conditioning there uh got your t you got your uh, telephone here telephone connection on these as well <clears throat> some of them used to have te te telephones in here so you'd open that and then there'd be a telephone in it. This one ain't got it, but some of them do have that. Um, but you know, goes into gear absolutely fine. I, I, I've been, I drove it off the trailer, but it's, it's, you know, it, it moves, but it's, it's scratching and scraping that tire. So I really don't want to take it any further because, like I said. We need to get it in the workshop um, on that ramp. And at the minute, obviously that car is in the way. Um, so I don't know when we're going to get to this one. But it, it should be um, very, very soon. I think we should, we should be able to get to that Peugeot tomorrow. Get that finished off. Even the glove blocks. Look how smooth that takes that glove box comes down. Look. It's... It's Mercedes, isn't it? It's Mercedes for you. You got these CD trays here as well. You put the CDs in. We've got no book pack with this car. That's the only thing that this car 
does not come with any book packs. So I've got no service history, got no manuals, nothing, which is an absolute shame. It really is, because this got two keys. I've got the logbook. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a real shame because it's, it's, a, it's in really nice condition. It is. It's in really, really nice condition. This, this is, I love the leather. It's clean. It's got the original mats as well from Mercedes. The floor mats. Um, so, yeah, it has been looked after. It has. Um, steering wheel controls. We've got all those kind of things there as well. For the stereo. Like that. Um, this controls the front now as well. Miles per gallon consumption. Not sure what miles per gallon we're going to get out of this. Um, but being that it's an automatic, you know, it's it's a great it's a great little find, a great little car. I was winning this for quite cheap, like I said before, um, and they didn't let me have it, which is fair enough. It is what it is. So I had to pay a little bit more. Um, I would have just, you know stuck to my original um my bidding uh what i was winning it for but it seemed to go up a little bit more this time so i thought you know what it's still worth it what i paid for it it is still worth uh grabbing and going for because um yeah it's just you know you can you can add five five or eight hundred pound on top of a car just because it's got an automatic gearbox um I know nothing about these cars when it comes to timing belts and that sort of stuff. I think they're quite difficult because the engine sort of curls under, I believe. Goes like that. Um, so pretty tricky to do that. But service-wise, I think we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to do a, do a full service. Um, and um, I don't know if it's a chain or a belt on these timing, on these on these engines. But I'm going to look into it and find out, you know, what's what. Um yeah and stuff like that but it's it's a really nice car it's a really nice car i like it and these were definitely sort of um ahead of their time as well when they come up when they come up with this this version this way let's, see, let's have a look at the engine this is a cat s obviously um because of the rear suspension so it is a cat s which is a you know, it is what it is, again. But, there we go. This engine, bit dusty. Dirty, absolutely filthy coming from Copart. Look at the size of the water tank. This is the washer jets, for the water washer jets. It's massive. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's, there's our engine, uh, obviously. Um, and we're gonna be doing a four. That's the, is that the engine ECU? Looks like it is. So it's part of the, part of the airbox. Because <laughs> on top of the airbox. Weird. I'm going to have to look into this. Find out. Yeah. So, I don't know if we're going to be doing the timing belt on this one or chain or whatever. I don't know. I've got to look into exactly what this is all about. Because I've never done one of these before. Um, it's all new to me, guys. Um, but so far... I quite like it. I think it's a nice car. I think it's going to be all right for someone. Right, sorry about that, guys. Um, someone had come to have a quick chat, so I had to cut the film in there. Um, so, yeah, it's, I think it's a really, really nice little car. Um, let me know what you think um, about the Mercedes A160 Avant Garde. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a nice little car for someone. I wonder if I could find this, if there's a book pack kicking around somewhere, you know, little compartment that I've missed. Um, these seats as well, they go up and down and the bolster goes up and down as well. You can move that up and down, change the seat. That seat position is, is goes up and down. The seat goes up and down as well. It moves all over the place. So yeah, to get really comfortable. 
Um, and they are comfortable, these seats actually, sitting in them. Quite nice. Got a little armrest here, it goes back and forwards. It's a bit strange, but. It's very spacious at the back. Very, very spacious. Surprising, really. It's a small little car. It's actually quite quite big inside. It's weird. <laughs> um, yeah, you've got the skirt trim. This come off here. So that needs to be put back in place as well. I don't think the actual... No, I don't think any of that's been damaged. That bottom quarter. I don't think none of that's been damaged. I think it's just popped off. And it won't, that won't go back on in place. It needs to go higher because the tyre's in the way. So it really needs a good strip down underneath at the back. And then that just pops back in place. Um, quite a nice size boot as well. Oh, someone's left me some little toys here. What we got? Mercedes fuses. That doesn't come standard with a car, surely. Might do. Might, yeah, might do. Got the locking wheel nut key. That's good. I didn't even know this was there, actually. So the locking wheel nut key's there. So that's good. And then we've just got some bulbs. Just some spare bulbs, which is nice. Thank you very much. I'll always use them. Yeah, a few bits and pieces. Spare wheel. New as well, never been never been used. So that's good. Brand new spare wheel there. It's the tools. No tools. Okay. Ah, tools. Got a jack here. Yep. Yep. All the tools are in there. I can feel them. So that's good. First aid kit and a triangle. Yeah, I just, I'm quite looking forward to getting into this one actually. Getting it on the ramp, seeing what's going on underneath. We're going to, like I said, we'll replace the whole lot underneath. It's not, not going to mess around with none of that sort of stuff. Uh, springs and bits and pieces, as long as they're not broken, they'll be right to go back on. But um, yeah, the whole suspension really is going to be swapped over and changed. And I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, just get into it, get stuck into it, and just see what we need basically um, to get this one running straight again. Um, it's a nice grey as well, this colour. It's got like a metallic colour to it, yeah. It's got a metallic. It's a nice colour. So, yeah, but that was the reason why I couldn't bring it in to show you inside um, because the tyre was just getting destroyed. Um, and I need to, yeah, I need to save as much as I can from that because um, ideally I need to get some skates for wheels. A lot of you are going to say it. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there going, well, why don't you just stick it on some skates? I can hear you. I can hear. I can hear you. Ready to type it as, as I'm saying it. You're absolutely right. I do need some skates, um, tire skates. Just makes it. It will make it a lot easier to manoeuvre cars about. Um, but it's just one of those things where you just, you know, you need, you need it. You don't. You ain't got it if you need it. You don't need it if you ain't got it. Um, and yeah, it's got to go on my Christmas list. I think. Get some wheel skates. Um, but it is what it is. So yeah, that is the new project. It was just gonna be a quick walk around, just to show you, explain what the damage is, explain what we've got to do. Um, 
and then we're going to get stuck into this one in the next couple of days once i get my voice back completely uh, normal again because i must sound a real strange on the video um it still hurts a little bit to, to talk to swallow and that sort of stuff but um i am definitely getting better um and then we'll get into this when when i can really so drop me a comment guys down below let me know what you think about the purchase the mercedes it's a pretty clean car isn't it it's 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 not it's, it's no, no, no rips on the seats it, it, the seats are in really really good condition um so yeah someone's gonna get a lovely little car once i'm finished with it definitely um so there we go this is the car <laughs> that i've been trying to get them to let me have for the last six weeks and finally they let me have it um i definitely thought it was worth saving that's why i kept going for it because i thought do you know what it's still worth saving this car it really is um so yeah and being that it's an automatic and it's a petrol 1.5 petrol automatic it's a it's a no-brainer really as long as you're you know <clears throat> as long as you get them at the beginning right for money wise um they'll, they'll always they'll always they'll always turn you a profit because of, of being an automatic um and it's the first mercedes a160 that i've done so something different for you guys to watch but yeah it's got it's got quite a lot of um extras on this i think the the uh the, the um cruise control i think that's an optional extra uh, something to do with the mirror as well this central mirror that's an extra as well even these chrome trims on the doors these were extra that was an extra um so yeah it has got a few extra bits and pieces so like i said guys drop me a comment let me know what you think um and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one take care thanks for watching see you soon